up. This is disgusting. Now, this sort of cleanup detail is very unique. It's a game you probably get as a joke, but as soon as you start it, it grabs you, causing you to soon realize that a couple of hours have passed since you started. Visser is all about cleaning space stations completely and fulfilling your space janitor duties. Whenever there's an accident or attack, your job is to clean up all bodies, blood, and other materials that may be hazardous to others that work there. When you first launch the game, you choose a map that you'd like to clean. Any map can be chosen, each with their own unique settings. Once you choose a map, you are thrown in without a tutorial, however the game is picked up surprisingly quickly. So far, there are 21 maps total, each having an average amount of time listed as well as its size. Each map contains different messes based on what happened there. You can learn what happened on each map by finding notes, each note being from different people that worked there or were there at that time. These notes act as the story of the map and can allow you to determine what happened once you put them together. You are equipped with a multitude of different types of equipment, each carryable by your character. The most basic of your tools are the mop, sniffer, laser rifle, bucket, and the waste bin. The mop is used for cleaning up blood, ash, and other liquids that are smeared on surfaces. The sniffer is your biggest helper in the game, as it detects anything you're supposed to dispose of and helps you get rid of messes planted around the map. The bucket is used to clean your mop once it gets too dirty. Once a bucket's water is completely dirty, using your mop in it will cause the mop to become dirty as well, and will cause more issues rather than solve them. The laser rifle is used to reform any material that has bullet marks or indents. Then there's the game's waste bin, which is used to carry anything from the floor to an incinerator. The game's incinerator destroys literally anything you put into it, and is what you put anything hazardous into. You can get different equipment from the dispensers around the map. Each dispenser contains an unlimited amount of that item. In every map, there's always one bucket and waste bin dispenser. The game's graphics are great to look at, and definitely immerse you into the game, especially the combination of body parts and smears of blood, as well as other materials that are placed around the map. Sometimes you may even find an important message written on a wall, so stay sharp. Three maps are separate from the original and cost money. These three are called Viscera Cleanup Detail Santa's Rampage, Viscera Cleanup Detail Shadow Warrior, and Viscera Cleanup Detail House of Horrors. The game costs $13, which is surprisingly good for the amount of time you can get out of the game. Maps added on to that would cost you a total of $18. Visceral Cleanup Detail is great for people who like gory simulation games as well as co-op. 